Hello there, I'm Mr. Bulger, one of the media specialists here at Howard. I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on some of the great communication tools that we have in Canvas. As you already know, Canvas is a place where you can check your grades, see your assignments, uh, see your homework, sometimes submit assignments, and get information about your classes. But it's also a great communication and organizational tool. When we start from the dashboard, we should be able to see all of our classes. If you don't see a class in the dashboard, just click over here on Courses, select All Courses, and the key here is anyone with a filled red star will show up on your dashboard. So if I want to remove a class from my dashboard, I would click the highlighted star and it will be removed from my dashboard. If I want to add a class, I would click the star and highlight it and it would be added to my dashboard. So back to my dashboard. Let's take a quick tour. We know where our classes are. Up here on the left is a to-do list. In this to-do list will be any upcoming assignments, homework, things like that that our teachers have assigned. This will help us to know what we have due on any given day. Below it is an area called coming up. Those are items that are coming up on your calendar. Okay, as you can see, I have several events. I can also expand that to see up to about eight events. I can also look at my entire calendar. The calendar is a great tool because it shows us all of the different events we have up for all of our classes. If we want to not see a class or see a class that we don't see on the calendar, we look over here on the right and here's our list of calendars. As long as the box is filled in, that will be added to the calendar. If I uncheck a box, it will then not show up on the calendar. We also have the ability to have a week view, a monthly view, okay, or an agenda view, which is stuff coming up in order of dates. If we want to add an event to the calendar that's not already on it, we can click create new event and create a, a calendar event that would show up on our personal calendar. That is the calendar. Also, finally, back to the dashboard, you can get recent feedback. You can see grades that you recently received and the feedback that your teachers gave you. That's very, very helpful. The final wonderful communication tool that we have in Canvas is the inbox. And the inbox is basically either direct messaging or email depending on how you want to look at it. So you can look at all the messages you've received or sent, okay, based on either all courses or you can pick a particular class and see only messages uh, that pertain to that class. Okay, you can also see stuff that's in your inbox unread, just like your email. Okay, to send a message to a class, there's a feather here to compose a new message. And you can pick the class that you want to use. So if I want to send a message to somebody in television, I click on television. And then I can start typing in somebody's name. Okay, and then click on them and type it just like I would send an email. And they would receive it as an email. This is great if you want to send a message to your teacher. You're not sure about an assignment, you are sick, you'd like to find out something to do, you have a question, you're confused. Whatever it is, it's an easy way to send a message to your teacher and receive that message back. So those are three things. You have the to-do list, you have your calendar, and you have inboxing. Now these are all great when you go into Canvas, but did you know that you can receive notifications of important calendar events, things that are coming up to do when you get grades, any wealth of things that you want to get feedback on. You can get notifications either through your personal email or through text messaging. Let's look at how we set this up. To set this up, we first want to go to our account which is at the top, and we want to go to settings. And in settings, we need to tell Canvas where to send our notifications. 
okay? So you can either use email addresses or other contacts, which are text messages. You just click on add an email address or add a text message, okay? And you can add those and then you'll receive notifications of inbox messages and whatever else that you want to receive notifications of through that service. And don't worry, we don't collect your email address or your phone number to use for anything. This stays in Canvas, it's encrypted, and only Canvas uses it to send you the notifications you request. To request notifications, simply click on Notifications and Settings, and you'll see here you have a whole list of things you can ask to get notifications. Some of the important ones are due dates, okay, announcements. If your teacher or somebody has an announcement, you, you want to receive announcements, okay, discussion posts, all right, grading, uh, things like that. And you can decide if you want it to be notified right away, if you want a daily summary of all the announcements or all the, the projects you have due, tests, uh, all the grades that came out, a weekly summary, or do not send you anything. And you can change this at any time to suit your preferences or what you want. My recommendation is make sure you're getting announcements, make sure you're getting notifications about when you have things due and when things are graded. Those would be the really important ones. And this system is going to become very important soon when the SGA rolls out the student-run community, where you'll be able to connect with your extracurricular activities, your clubs, your graduation class, get calendar notifications of all kinds of activities and things like that, announcements of meetings and uh, events and, and those sort of things. So it's very important to get your notifications set up and use Canvas in a way to help you be connected to your classes, to your school, and also to really help with your organization. Now again, as Nina had mentioned, if you're having problems with Canvas, we've set up a special Canvas help time during Lions time. You have to go on to the Lions time website and set that up, but you can come down here and we'll help you if you're lost in Canvas. We certainly want you to get the most out of Canvas and utilize it the way that it's intended to be used. So please don't hesitate to come down for that, or you can stop by before school, during lunch, or after school and ask for help with Canvas. Again, Ms. Moore and myself uh, and the entire staff want you to be connected through Canvas and able to utilize it in a proper way. Have a great day, and please stop by at the Media Center and ask any questions you have.